Welcome to the Cremation Tribute Center. I'm John McQueen, co-owner of Anderson McQueen Funeral Homes, and I'm pleased to act as your personal guide today as you tour St. Petersburg's only on-premise private crematory. This facility was constructed after years of research and testing among cremation clients to determine what their needs and desires were when having cremation. In doing so, we've learned that three important aspects applied to the cremation process. Families really wanted highly personalized services. They wanted to be able to participate in the cremation process. And most of all, they wanted peace of mind in knowing that the cremated remains they received were those of their loved ones. After doing this research, my brother and I designed and constructed this facility and it is recognized both nationally and internationally as one of the leading facilities for cremation throughout the world. So please join me today as we begin the tour inside. We will begin our tour today here inside our Life Celebration Reception Center. Throughout life, food has played an important part in every major event, whether that be a birthday, a baptism, a bar mitzvah, or even a wedding. Families and friends have chosen to come together to celebrate and honor these milestones in a way that both nourishes the soul and warms the heart. Funerals and memorial services are no different. For generations, families and friends have found great comfort in food during a time of significant loss. Whether you're watching his life video on the large flat screen monitor behind me here, or listening to her favorite songs on our iPod compatible sound system, or celebrating his final tailgate party in our private courtyard with hamburgers and hot dogs served from the grill, you can see that our life celebration reception centers are equipped with the latest technology and amenities to better serve your family and to create that meaningful tribute to that unique life that was lived. Now that you've seen some of the many benefits associated with using our life celebration reception centers, let's walk on across the hall to our memory room and continue the tour from there. Here we are inside our memory room. This room was designed with two main goals in mind. First, we wanted to provide your family the opportunity to see your loved one one last time and say your goodbyes in an intimate and private setting when no public services were selected. Second, based on your requests, we wanted to provide families with an ability to be able to participate more fully in the cremation process. Our research had shown that many families felt that they were not afforded the options or opportunities that many burial families had by participating in a more committal service type setting, much like what you would experience at the grave site. Therefore, this room allows you to have that more final opportunity to say your goodbyes and participate in the cremation process. Behind me, you will notice the casket, and the large silver apparatus. That large silver apparatus is what's known as an automatic loading system. For those families wishing to witness the cremation process, the casket or cremation container will be placed on top of the automatic loading apparatus, and when initiated, the stainless steel door on the cremation chamber will open. The automatic loader will then extend its arm into the retort and ha has wheels that will begin to rotate and offload the casket or cremation container into the retort. Once the casket is offloaded, the arm will retract and the door will lower. Upon lowering, the flame will ignite and the cremation process will begin. In fact, over here on this wall, behind the little wooden door, this is actually a remote switch that allows families to be able to participate by beginning the actual cremation process that I just described. I know to some of you this may seem odd or strange, but in all reality, this dates back to century-old customs of allowing the oldest son to light the funeral pyre. 
This kind of participation can provide great peace of mind for families choosing cremation. In fact, many of you may remember the unfortunate events that happened involving the Tri-State Crematory in Noble, Georgia, and more recently the Bayview Crematory in New Hampshire. Both of these events were horrific, and our hearts still go out to those families that were affected. With both of these crematories, they were off-site, multi-user type facilities, oftentimes with little, if any, contact with the direct public. They simply acted as a subcontractor to funeral homes and cremation societies advertising cremation. They also provided cremation services for funeral homes and crematories outside of their own states. That's one reason why the Wall Street Journal chose to feature our crematory and in particular our memory room as the standard within the industry when choosing a cremation provider. We are about to begin the final segment of your personalized tour of our Cremation Tribute Center. This segment is probably the most important segment of all. It's what we call the behind the scenes tour. As you may know, many companies in a vast array of industries have begun to bring their backdoor operations to the front. Companies such as Lexus, where you can watch as they repair your automobile. Or many restaurants, such as Carrabba's, that bring their kitchens right into your dining room experience. Why do these companies do it? Well, it's simple. They want to provide you with the trust, confidence, and peace of mind you deserve when choosing them as your provider. Here at Anderson McQueen, we believe you deserve that same trust, confidence, and peace of mind when choosing your cremation provider. So let's start back and see how things operate behind the scene. But before we do, I must caution you that most crematories and cremation providers do not maintain this type of open door policy. This is something unique and special here at Anderson McQueen. So follow me. <laughs> 